guys, how's it going? So today's project is a really easy one. We are gonna be making some walnut wreaths. I recently finished decorating the area right behind me for fall and I hung a couple of these types of wreaths on the door and you guys seem to really love them. They're super easy to make. In fact, those are my mom's. My mom and I made walnut wreaths at the same time um, years and years ago. Hers are still living, but I need to make new ones for myself. So this is the, kind of the perfect opportunity then she can have her wreaths back. So the only thing you need for this project is a wreath form, any kind of twig wreath form is fine. Um, and then a wreath hanger, of course, and you wanna put that on in the beginning um, before you start gluing on any nuts because you need to make sure to accommodate enough room for that. Um, that's really important. Usually when we're making other wreaths, it's not as important to put the wreath hanger on, but I find it best in this case. Uh, and then you need a big bunch of walnuts. Now I did, estimate that for an 18 inch wreath which is what the size that are on the doors and the size i'm making today it takes about 260 walnuts um, we have a couple in our area that sells 33 pound bags of walnuts for 28 dollars, which is an amazing price but i did go down to one of our local grocery stores just to see what they had and what the cost was and i bought all of these walnuts for right around 30 dollars um so Honestly, you're really not in it that much, even if you have to buy walnuts at a grocery store price. And then, you know, you buy yourself a wreath form for usually they're around five or six dollars. And then you do need quite a bit of hot glue for this project, but that's it. In the end, I am going to be doing a light spray of gold metallic spray paint and some glitter spray to kind of festive it up a little bit, uh, but that's completely optional. So all you do is you hot glue walnuts to the form and you just wanna make sure to use a lot of hot glue. And I don't know if my glue gun's ready yet, but just be generous like that. That's all there is to it. So I'm gonna sit here for a, probably, it usually takes about an hour to make one of these and we're just gonna hot glue walnuts. So 266 walnuts and 11 and a half glue sticks later, I think it's done, except for my uh, spray paint. So what I'm gonna do is clear this pretty much off and then slide a garbage sack underneath this wreath so I can give it a quick spray. So for this part, I have just a gold Lumina metallic spray paint. You could use any gold spray paint. And then I've got some glitter spray right here, which I had in one of my Christmas boxes. Um, and I'm just gonna do a really light spray because I want most of the walnut color to show through. I just want a tiny little tinge of gold. I'm gonna do a test spray real quick. The reason I like this spray paint is that it's a really dark gold. So it kind of matches the color that these walnuts already are. And it just gives it a tiny little bit of a sheen when you look close. And then the glitter takes it over the top. Ooh, there's not very much left in here. Come on. Okay, that is perfect. So I'm gonna let it sit here and dry for a little while, but let me just hold it up so you can see what it looks like. And this way we can tell if there's any weak walnuts as well. Like if there's any, give it a good shake. You know, my mom worked at a florist for a lot of years and the very first one she worked for, she'd put together flower arrangements uh, for whatever event and he would grab them and throw them. <laughs> and he said like uh, uh, corsages and boutonnieres and things like that. And he just said like, it's a good arrangement if it holds together. And I did have one walnut pop off. So I think that was my fault. I hit it with my hand. So we'll uh, fix that. The thing about the walnut wreaths, now the reason why mine fell apart and my mom's didn't, is that I put mine in a spot that got full sun and I put it up early in the fall. So it was like late summer, early fall. So it was still really hot 
kind of melted the glue and I would hear walnuts hit the ground. So I was constantly repairing it. Um, hers are on their front door that's on the north side of their house. So they're fairly shaded. And like in this area here where they're protected, they don't get that hot sun. I mean, occasionally you'll have one come loose when it gets really cold. Um, but hers, as you can see, has have held together and it's probably been 10 years ago. That's sad to think it's been 10 years ago we sat and made those reeds. So, I mean, you're in it for maybe like $35, $40 as an initial investment. And then if you just hang on to them and store them throughout the year and use them from year to year, uh, you can really get a long time out of them. So anyway, I have one more to make so that I can return hers. And I hope you found this uh, tutorial uh, helpful. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Also, I'm sad, this is my first ever glue gun. I've had this for 13 years and it just broke. Sad day.